can't escape us anymore. You really think we'll stay here? There's no escape from here. Otherwise, die by swimming across the frozen sea. Those stupid Germans thought they could find something here. Yeah, right. Now our boat is out of fuel and there's no way out. I can't make it. Please, make sure my children back in Belgium are safe. They will be safe, I promise. Just leave him, Smith. We can't let our targets escape. Come on! I will never find it again. This easily. <coughs> You will never win. We will still control Europe no matter what. Good job, lads. We have now made our way into Germany. But first, we can't let those two Nazi officers get away. Now tell me, where are they headed to? Keine Ahnung. Em, you speak German? So I guess you know what he's saying. Well, read his papers first. He really had no idea. But look, this paper says those two officers are headed to some small island in the North Sea, a few miles from Norway. They could secretly build up a new army, I guess. How stupid is that? Probably they'll form an army of seals and wolves. Since you fight well together, guys, I will send you three alone to that island and kill them there. Then make a report to me, understood? Yes, anything to win the war! I just knew it. This world would come to an end. At least, I don't have to go to this island. Be quiet, fat Frenchman. Go back to your boring countryside village. Whatever you say, I just can't believe my cousin married this big-headed Englishman here. Now stop that. I'll get you into a boat and see you back in London. It's been four damn days since we got here and killed them, and yet still no rescue from our troops. Come on, Britain is winning. When we come back, we'll be heroes. Shut up. You're just sitting around here while we do all the work as if thinking someone who will show up anytime to get us back. Is that whole bickering with the Frenchman bothering you? Yes, he still cannot accept the fact that I married his cousin last year. He is too stuck in the past. I mean, the world is changing. Tell me again about it, brother. About marrying Estelle. We both weren't there to see it, but I know she's older than you. I was stationed in France for some time while you were in Africa and you in Italy. I thought my life would end any time then from war. So by chance, this girl came in and after only two weeks, I married her. And now I guess she's given birth to my child already. Congratulations, mate. I hope you get to see him or her soon and give a name. Or maybe your wife named it already some French name. Don't worry, she'll probably want me to give the name.
the war isn't over yet, and I see that you've become a hero. And what about those three young lads in the island? They should be heroes too. Em, sure, they've been heroes many times since the beginning of the war. So that's why I sent them to that island without any way back. If they were here, the crowds would cheer for them too. And I led them to all these victories. So I deserve all this glory. I am warning you, don't be this selfish or else those people down there will come to hate you. So I suggest you send the rescue team to get them. All right, I will. But you should go and get them as well. What's next? We'll die here? Think positive for once. The mainland of Norway is not too far from here. I'm sure some locals will get us out. This is Commander Goldstein trying to reach you. Are you here? Our ship is only five miles away. See, I told you they would come for us. Both of you, you should go back to England as heroes. I'll be in France first. Really you, Simon? Or am I imagining it? Estelle, you're still alive. I don't know what to say. Of course I'm alive. Come on, tell me what's wrong. I'm sorry, I caused this mess. I just wasn't thinking. It's the war that did this to me. It's been nine months with you away. Come on, I have a surprise. Really? Is it our child? This is a really great moment. It's a boy. He was born three weeks ago. I waited for you to name him. He's in the room now. I'm naming him Winston, Winston Smith, after our Prime Minister who really helped us win the war. Once again, I cannot congratulate you enough, General Carter, on helping our army reach Germany. Yes, true we won and Hitler is dead. But thanks to the Americans as well as for helping us, Though the Russian army has won a bigger victory capturing Berlin and the rest of Eastern Europe. That could possibly be the new threat we could face. But my time as Prime Minister would soon come to an end. But we still need to do something about this soon to be issue. The Soviets, once our allies, cannot be trusted. This could lead to another war again. No, I do not suspect another war. It's time we focus on rebuilding Britain. And for that, I see that a new party should be elected. I heard all about your adventures. I mean, you've taken down an army with a single tank. Yes, unfortunately. This is the only good story I have. The rest weren't. I fought all these months under the command of this selfish general who sent me to a freezing island. While seeing it in the papers, he returned home with people, celebrating his victory even if his soldiers helped in it. At least the war is over. We should have seen its terrible effects here in France. I guess we should leave this boring French countryside and settle down in England. I was thinking about that. We should settle in my home city, Colchester, and forget all about the war. There you are, sir. It was quite a challenge to get myself in here only to meet with you. Gide, I apologize for leaving you and your friends stranded on that island. After all, you three are heroes too. So anyway, how are the twins? Cornelius has returned to England with me. Simon went back to France. I guess he has to recover from what he calls war trauma. He's going through a lot. Anyway, the war is over. It's just that Britain needs to recover too from its war exhaustion. Soon, Churchill's term as Prime Minister will end. Now we need someone from a different party to run the country. It's now time I be in politics. I've now joined the Labour Party with Antley and O'Keefe. But for you, I would like you to work for me when I become a member of Parliament. Sure, I've always wanted to work in here to shape Britain's future. <laughs> 